Hi there. Um, so today we're going to look at uh, an overview of quadratics. So we're going to look at all three forms and we're going to graph each of the equations and we're going to find their zeros. Okay. So I'm going to use the method that's most efficient. But remember, you can use any method for any uh, form. Okay. So let's start with standard form. Okay. So I want to graph this and I want to find the x-intercepts. Okay. So first, let's graph it. Okay. Well, how can we graph a standard form equation? Well, it would be nice if we could start with the vertex. Okay. So the vertex, we know that the x-coordinate is always at negative b over 2a. Okay. So there's b, there's a, so that makes this negative 6 over 2 times 3 which is negative 1. Now it would be nice if I could know the matching y coordinate of the vertex. So I know that I can plug negative 1 into my original equation and find the y coordinate. Oh, minus 2. Okay. So that's just the original equation with negative 1 in there. And we find out that y is negative 5. Okay. So <clears throat> that means I have a vertex at negative 1, negative 5, okay? And now to graph it, I could find the x-intercepts, or I could recognize that I could just use a step pattern with a equals 3, right? So that means normally I'd go over 1, up 1. This time I'm going to go over 1, up 3, and over 1, up 3. Okay, and over 2 up 4 is the normal step pattern, but here I'm going to go over 2 up 12, because it's 12 times 3, or 4 times 3 is 12. So over 2 up 4, 8, 12. And on the other side, over 2 up 12. Okay, so here is my parabola. Okay. All right, now the next part is to find the x-intercepts. Okay, so how do we find the x-intercepts of something in um, standard form? Well, we could factor it or we could just use the quadratic formula. Okay, so we know the quadratic formula is x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Right? And let's look back at the values. A is 3, B is 6, C is negative 2. So A is 3, B is 6, and C is negative 2. Okay, so now let's plug that in. So we get negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. Okay, so um, now all we have to do is simplify, solve. I'm going to let you do that, and I need you to come up with the answers that x is equal to negative 2.29 and x is equal to 0 0.29, okay? So these are the x-intercepts. Now let's look back at the graph. And, yep, yeah, 0.29 looks right, and negative 2.29 looks right. Okay? So we found the x-intercepts and the graph of a standard form equation. Okay? So now, um, let's look at vertex form. Okay? So let's graph this and find the x-intercepts. Okay. Well, to graph vertex form, the nice thing is we don't need to do anything. Okay. I know that this means that the x-coordinate of the vertex is negative 3. This means that the y-coordinate of the vertex is 1. So that means negative 3, 1. There's the vertex. The negative 2 tells me the step pattern. Right. So I'm going to go over 1, down 2. Over 1, down 2. And over 2, down, instead of 4, we're going to go 8. So over 2, down 8. And there's my graph. Okay. So very easy from vertex form to graph. Okay. Now we want to find the x-intercepts. Okay. So that means I'm going to set y equal to 0. OK. 
okay? And now I just need to isolate x, right? I don't need to factor, I don't need the quadratic formula. X only happens once, so I just need to isolate it. I need to unwrap it, right? So I'm gonna move that one over. I'm gonna divide both sides by negative two. So I get 0 0.5 is x plus three squared, right? Now I square root both sides and I end up getting plus or minus 0 0.71 is equal to x plus 3. So I'm going to let you do the rest, but you should come up with the answers that x is negative 2.29 and x is negative 3.71. Okay, so let's look back here. 2.29, that looks about right, 1, 2, 2.29, and there's 3, 3.71, so those look good, okay? So we found the x-intercepts and graphed from vertex form, okay? And the last thing we need to do is look at factored form, so let's graph and find the x-intercepts. So we can, so to graph this, first we need the vertex, all right. And remember, the vertex from factored form, we can find by averaging out the two zeros, right? So first we need the zeros, right? So we know that since they're factored, x minus 2 is 0, which means x is 2, and x minus 8 is 0, which means x is 8, okay? So notice we haven't done anything with the vertex, we just found the zeros. Okay, so actually we've done this part. We found the x-intercepts, okay? So now the vertex is going to be between these two zeros. So now we're going to go to the vertex, and we're going to say that x is equal to 2 plus 8 divided by 2, which is 5, right? And we're going to sub x into our ori original equation, all right? So we had that equation. So we're going to sub x into these x values and find out that y is 9, right? So we get a vertex at 5, 9. So that's 1, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So right there. And we have an a value of negative 1. Okay, so that means we're going to go over 1, down 1. And over 2, down 4. Okay, so this parabola looks like that. And now to find the x-intercepts, well, we've already done it, right? It's 2 and 8. And if I plot 2 and 8, you can see that the parabola is actually going to extend through those zeros. So they look good, right? So everything that we've done makes sense. Um, <clears throat> everything matches, diagrams match the math, and it's all good, okay? So there is a summary of how we work with all three forms, okay? All right, that's all.